الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد اي لحبتي في الله continuing on in our study of Imam Muqbil bin Hadi al-Wad'i الله يرحمه his treaties هذه دعوتنا والعقيد وعقيدتنا where Imam Muqbil رحمة الله عليه this is the second portion of this part of the treaties where the Imam said نرى هذه جماعات المعاصرة المكاثرة سبب لفرقة المسلمين وإدعافهم The Imam said and we we believe that the various groups these very contemporary groups are a reason for dividing the Muslims and their weakness and the Imam or as is mentioned in the explanation of his treaties some very, very powerful speech of Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah, which showing us, shows us the danger of Hizbiyah, the danger of calling to ourselves and uniting upon that which is not in accordance with Kitab Allah wa Sunnah the Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the understanding of the Salaf of this Ummah. This is a very, very powerful statement, and it just goes to show you that this, our, our Salaf, those who preceded us, dealt with these same issues. It's not just us now in contemporary times that we're dealing with these divisions, that we're dealing with people uh, forming Hezbiya and calling to themselves or calling to their group, calling to their clique, calling to their boys, whatever, that these concepts, unfortunately, this loving and hating for the sake of your sect, loving and hating for the sake of your imam, loving and, and hating for the sake of your sheikh, these are old types of misguidance. This hezbiya was apparent, unfortunately, in the ummah prior to the time that we uh, deal with. And I want you to pay particular attention to what Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah is saying because this is so relevant because how many brothers and sisters want to make you accept them and their group of brothers and sisters as being the only people from Ahl sunnah Not based on those qawaid those and, and usul of Ahl sunnah the principles and the uh, verdicts based on kitab wa sunnah and those principles derived from the Quran and the sunnah, the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, not based on that but based on his being. Based on because they love a particular sheikh, the sheikh made a fatwa about this individual. If you don't accept that fatwa, and the fatwa may be weak in evidence or maybe uh, unsubstantiated without any evidence, but you don't accept it blindly, then you're a hizbi. Then you've divided the ummah. Then you don't take from the ulama. This is batil. And this goes on all the time. And it's absolutely imperative that we understand this, my brothers and sisters in Islam. And I just want to share this. And I hope that even one person is enlightened from this type of ideology, which is dangerous, which has been eating away Ahl Sunnah. It's been, cause, it's been a cause of confusion and firqa for, uh, between Ahl Sunnah. That people make others accept the opinion of their sheikh as if their sheikh is the only one from Ahl Sunnah when you have kathir. And, 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 and scholars that are greater than perhaps even the, the scholar that they're, they're uh, referring to. Or they're making you, they're force feeding you his fatwa on a particular individual. And I just heard something, I'm not going to mention names, but I heard a group of mashayikh who were just recently being attacked by one particular sheikh. And all of them are from our mashayikh of Ahl. So I love them all and I've sat with and met all of those mashayikh. And sat with some of them more than others as far as studying. But this particular shit has a view and he declares a couple of them to be now misguided when once he defended them. And due to this, people will say you're not taking from the ulama. I just received something from someone who said uh, be with the ulama, be with the Salafi youth or the Salafi shabab. But how is it you can be that you're force feeding someone to blind follow a fatwa of the sheikh when the evidence suggests otherwise that the sheikh was incorrect in this in this verdict, but the sheikh still gets re reward for that? 
But you will not get reward if you're blind following the sheikh and you're causing fitna and confusion based on that verdict. You are now spreading fitna, saying that whoever studies with this, whoever doesn't agree with this fatwa, whoever, then they're off it. They're misguided. They're hizbi. They're not taken from the ulama. They don't love the ulama. They're with the hizbiyun. They're this. So this is imperative. Listen to what Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah said about this, dealing with this fitna uh, uh, prior to all of our lifetimes. قَالَ رَحِيمُ اللَّهِ تَعَالَى وَلَيْسَ لِلْمُعَلَّمِينَ أَنْ يُحَزِّبُوا النَّاسِ وَيَفْعَلُوا مَا يَلْقِي الْأَدَاوَى بَيْنَهُمْ وَلَيْسَ لِأَحَدْ مِنْهُمْ أَنْ يَخْذَ أَحْدٍ بِمُوَافَقَتِهِ عَلَى كُلِّ مَا يُرِيدُهُ وَمَوَالَاتْ مِنْ يَوَالِيهِ وَمَا مَعَادَاتْ مِنْ يَعَادِيهِ بَلْ مَنْ فَعَلَ هَذَا كَانَ مِنْ جِنْسْ جِنْكِسْ خَانْ وَأَمْثَالِهِ أَلَّذِينِ يَجْعَلُونَ مَنْ وَافَقُهُمْ صَدِيقًا وَلِيًّا وَمَنْ خَالِفُهُمْ عَدُوًّا بَاغِيًّا This is a powerful, powerful statement. Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah رحمه الله تعالى said it is not for the teacher to cause people to be in groups or hezbiyah. He even used the word. He said, and you hezibu. And this is from hezibah. You hezibu. Hezbiyah. Uh, this is a derivative of the word hezbiyah. Hezbiyah is a, is a noun or a, or a, uh, par, uh, a um, an adjective describing the one, uh, describing uh, partisanship. Also, it could be a noun. And the point being here, he used the word. Sheikh Islam used it. وَلَيْسَ لِلْمُعَلَّمِينَ And you hazibu nas To make people become hizbis. Make people divide in, in, into groups in the sex. And then he said, وَيَفْعَلُوا مَا يَلْقِيَ دَعْوَ بَيْنَهُ And make them uh, practice or what have you, that which will cause enmity between them. And it is not for anyone from them to take a pact to agree with everything that he wants, meaning to blind follow and agree with every verdict, every opinion, without looking at the delil. And loving based on whoever loves him or loves his opinion. And hating whoever disagrees or hates his opinion. Rather... Whoever does this is from the likes of Genghis Khan or Genghis Khan, as they say in Arabic, and, and other than him. Those who made those who agreed with him friends and supporters and whoever differed with them enemies and uh, oppressive uh, people. This is a powerful, powerful statement which destroys the qaida of hezbiyah. That beware of practicing this. Beware of making the people, force-feeding the people to following your view or to following that which may not go in accordance with the evidence. If one of my mashayikh has a view, I do not force people to take that view. I just say that this is the sheikh's view and I, I believe this is the closest to the delil if I have the ability to look into the issue. But I do not force people to take that uh, view, nor declare them hit, uh, enemies and uh, shayateen and hizbis if they disagree with that verdict. And that's imperative, ya ikhwan. And the Prophet wasallam said, as we mentioned, also, and the Sheikh brought his dalil in one of his other, in one of the other lessons of uh, referring to hizbiyah, talking about uh, the da'wah to jahiliyyah, that be wary be wary and staying away from the da'wah, the call of the days of ignorance, of calling, and you know, the calls of racism, the calls to hezbiyah, to sectarianism, to break apart, ya muhajirin, ya ansar, to, to divide and to have a, uh, a negative intention behind that division. That you're calling the people to divide as an ummah when Allah has, un has united us. 
based on the Quran and the Sunnah, not based upon any political agenda. We're not saying what Ikhwan al Muslimin says, or the Sururiyin, or any of the other groups and sects, but instead we unite based on the Quran and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and avoid the Hizbiyyah. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala says, Kitab al Kareem. Allah says, and hold on to all, uh, all of you steadfast to the rope of Allah and do not divide. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, in Kitab al Kareem, in the ummatukum, ummatan wahidan, wa ana rabbukum fa'budun. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, verily this nation of yours is one nation, and I am your Lord, so worship me. This is what Allah orders you to do. This is a command. And remember, Al-Amr Yafid al-Wujub, as we said many times, that the command for something, it necessitates uh, uh, that, that uh, whenever there's a command in the Sharia, that the asl of that command is that it is something, in, that it's an obligation. So if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala orders you with something, وَاَتَسِمُوا بِحَبْلِ اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا and hold on. Allah is commanding you to hold on to the rope of Allah, which is the Quran. Or as some of the Mufassirin say, the Quran and the Sunnah, or Yashmal Kilahuma, or the, 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 the Jama'ah. That Allah is ordering you to not to divide, to be one. So that commandment shows that it's an obligation unless there's a sadif, unless there's something else in the text which show that it is, goes from being wajib to mustahab or other than that. So this is imperative to know. Allah has commanded us to hold on to the rope of Allah and not to, and not to divide. And in the the and 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 this illustrates also, as we mentioned, as Allah subhanahu wa taala said in the other ayat, in the havi ummatukum ummatan wahida, when rabbukum fa'abdun, that Allah has said that we're one nation. And he said, I'm your Lord, so worship me. That's Tawheed. That's worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. And that means we do that as a group, as a jama'ah, one nation, based on kitab wa sunnah and the understanding of the salaf. Allah azza wa jal says, fi kitab al-kareem, wala yizaluna mukhtalifin illa man rahim rabbuka. This is very, uh, illa man rahima rabbuka. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitab al -kareem, and they uh, do not cease to be differing except those who your Lord has mercy upon. So that shows us, illa min rahim Allah, that many in the ummah have divided and the sectarian, sectarianism has, has become widespread except those who Allah has had mercy upon to not be tainted by that his being. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from that, ameen, and forgive us for any of our shortcomings and any and all of our sins, ameen, ya Rabbil Alameen. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Yadullah ma'al jama'ah. That the, the hand of Allah is with the group, is with the jama'ah. Be with Ahl Sunnah. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, If tarakatil yahud ala itna, itna the Prophet وسلم, said, okay, وسلم, that the Jews broke into 71 sects, the Christians 72 sects, my women is 73 sects, all of them in the fire except one. They said, who are they, Ya Rasulullah? He said, وسلم, those who are upon what I'm upon and what my companions are upon. So be, that's the firqa to najia. So that is, it's, it's, it's wajib to adhere to the firqa to najia, to, to adhere to the Quran and the Sunnah with the understanding of the Salaf of this Ummah and those ulama, those ulama of Ahl Sunnah to adhere to, 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 to return your affairs back to, those, to the ulama, to stick with Ahl Sunnah. And this is not from Tizkiyah to Nafs, this is not a part of you saying that you're saved because you don't know if you're saved. But you want to be on the correct methodology and understanding your religion and understanding Islam. The Prophet ﷺ said, There won't cease to be a group from my nation. 
that is on the truth. Until uh, the, the, the day of judgment. And in another narration, uh, and whoever disagrees with him, you know, who disagrees with him or tries to harm them, will not be able to harm them until the day of judgment. So Ahl Sunnah Mawjood, Ahl Sunnah is always present. Do not despair that if you live in a locality far away from the ulama or far away from the Talib al-Ilm or whatever, Talib al ilm or what have you. Ahl Sunnah Mawjood, Ahl Sunnah, there's people from Ahl Sunnah in China, people from Ahl Sunnah in Japan. There's people in Ahl Sunnah in Pakistan, in Saudi Arabia, in Yemen, in Seattle, in Canada, in Toronto, whatever. There's people from Ahl Sunnah everywhere. Willillah al hamd that have, that have embraced Kitab wa Sunnah and the understanding of the Salaf of this Ummah. Just about everywhere. You, 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 you will find wherever there's Muslims that there's someone from Ahl Sunnah. Bi idnillah. So it's imperative to not call to yourself, not call to your group, not call to your clique. And embrace Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Jalla. Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the Shaitan. Wa Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam ala Nabiya Muhammad.